What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and you're watching the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Today I'm at Knott's Berry Farm in Anaheim, California. This is a Cedar Fair theme park with a Snoopy theme, which I love to see. I've never been to Knott's before. This is my first time visiting this theme park. I've visited a, num a number of Cedar Fair parks over the U.S. in the past. Cedar Point, Ohio is one. Mall of America when they had the Snoopy theme before it became Nickelodeon Land, as well as Valley Fair in Shakopee, Minnesota. But this is my first time here at the famous Knott's Berry Farm. I'm excited to, tr to actually explore this place. They've got a lot of record-breaking roller coasters. And it's also the 100th year anniversary. Knott's Berry Farm started as a berry stand that Walter Knott, the founder, began in 1923. So 100 years ago is when Walter Knott started what became this amazing amusement park here in Southern California. I also want to know that Walter Knott's was friends with Walt Disney. Disneyland being located nearby, the two actually became friends and visited each other's parks um, up until Walt Disney passed away in 1966. So there's a lot of cool history here with Disneyland as well. So excited to explore this amazing looking amusement park and uh, check out these roller coasters as well as one of the first log flumes ever created. So follow me. First ride today, gonna do Silver Bullet, this amazing looking inverted steel roller coaster that they have at the front of the park. This looks awesome. Loving the mining theme. So let's do this, Silver Bullet. Here we go, taking a ride on this amazing looking inverted roller coaster. Well, like most Cedar Fair parks, they don't let me film on the ride. I had my GoPro all ready to go, but they don't, they don't let me do it, even with a wrist strap. But that's all right. This was an amazing inverted roller coaster. It really packs a punch. Six inversions, barrel rolls, vertical loops, you name it. This thing was awesome. It really packs a punch. My head was spinning a bit at the end, but that's a good thing for an inverted coaster. So yes, Silver Bullet, great way to start the day. Noticing this miniature model of the Mission San Fernando, They, it looks like they've got a bunch of these models all over the park. I don't know what they represent. Maybe it's some kind of exhibit that Walter Knotts had back in the day, but that's cool. They got like little models of maybe historic places in Southern California. Hang time just opened up. It's got like a 10 minute wait. So we're gonna hit this up. This is the steepest drop in the entire state of California. Hang time. hang time this is a 150 foot drop that's 96 degrees so beyond a straight drop and there's five inversions on this this looks like a great roller coaster it's very unique so i think this is the first of its kind that i've ever ridden so this will be this will be a good time i'm looking forward to hang 10 on the hang time this guy in a superman costume just skipped the entire line he's got a fast pass he's privileged superman is privileged Where there's like a little doll below the track. I don't know who that's supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, 
holy cow. My hair is all over the place. That was way more intense than I was expecting. That was an amazing ride. I actually like that better than Silver Bullet so far today. That was intense. It didn't look that intense for the ride line, but that was way more intense than I thought. So, so far, this is actually my favorite ride in the park. In line for the Calico Mine Train. This is one of the oldest rides in the theme park. It opened in 1960. It is a truly unique dark ride experience. I love the waterfalls here, the queue. This is amazing. Um, I don't know really anything about this ride. This is a first for me. I want to share this ride with you, but there's a lot of strict camera rules here in the park, so I don't know if I'll be able to. Here's the train. I literally have the train right behind me. But yeah, um, if I can share the ride through with you, great. If not, um, I'll tell you about it. But this is supposed to be one of the most unique rides in the theme park. And it was, it's was it been here since 1960, so it's an old one. I love this waterfall behind me. Look at this. Look at that. This is an amazing queue line. Kind of reminds me of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in Disneyland. But I think it's a, li a little bit more mild. I don't think this is like a roller coaster attraction. I think it's more of a kind of a slower paced scenic dark ride. I love how there's a stream right next to the queue line. My, I have a nephew that's three years old. If he were in this, he would be splashing up and down in the stream water. But it's cool. I really like that. It's truly unique. I wish more theme parks did, um, you know, did this attention to detail so well as I see here so far in this queue line. They've got a lot of waterfalls coming down. That's really cool. Makes me feel like I'm in the I'm in the old west. Just got seated here on the Calico Mine Ride. Again, this is a historic ride here at the park since 1960, so I really can't wait to experience this. It's exciting. Walt Disney himself wrote this when he was still alive. Uh, Disneyland is just down the road, so this is really cool. It's a very historic theme park ride.
park. Oh, they got vultures. Vultures! That was amazing. That was so cool. That Hands down, that was up there with a Disney ride. Um, one of the best dark rides I've ever been on. It really is. That, that was truly unique. And, uh, you know, this was all created in 1960, which is incredible to think about. I mean, a lot of those um, animatronics were very realistic. It was a unique story, and beautiful scenery. That was awesome. One of the best dark rides I have ever been on in any theme park and right up there with anything you would ride at Disney World or Universal Studios. Very cool. The Calico Mine Ride, a classic and a must ride here at Knott's Berry Farm. Ah, this is a total bummer. This was the ride I was looking forward the most to do today, the Timber Mountain Log Flume. This is one of the oldest log rides in the United States. It was opened up in 1969 and that, actually not just the United States, this is one of the first log flumes ever created. One of the first log rides right here since 1969 and it is closed. I don't know how long this will be closed. There's no water running in it at all, you can see. But won't be able to ride this today. I, I got a season pass here for Knott's Berry Farm. So I will be back several more times this year. I'm looking forward to ride this. But yeah, this is a historic amusement park ride right here. One of the first log flumes ever created here at Knott's Berry Farm. A few more shots of this timber mountain log flume. This looks awesome. I hope they're just refurbishing it, but yeah, this, man, I'm bummed. I really wanted to ride this today. This is amazing. One of the first log flumes ever made. Very historic ride. Grabbing some lunch, gonna try these calico tater bites that are supposed to be popular here in the theme park. We're in the calico ghost town right now. This place is really unique. It's huge. It's way bigger than I thought. This ghost town stretches like for blocks, it seems. It's, it's like an entire town in and of itself. But yeah, these are supposed to be popular. So try these calico tater bites. Well, before I dive into these amazing looking tater tots, I wanted to share this Knott's boysenberry punch that they have here. It's like a purple color. This stuff is amazing. It's like a boysenberry soda. It's so good, and I guess, well, that's exactly what it is. But wait, so I guess I, I'm learning. I don't know. A lot, I didn't do a lot of heavy research before coming here today. I just kind of wanted to experience Knott's Berry Farm firsthand um, as a newbie. But uh, I guess the boysenberry was invented here. This started this before the theme park came here. This was a berry farm. And the boysenberry was uh, created here. It's kind of like a blackberry mixed with some other berries. I don't know, Wikipedia. But uh, uh, the boysenberry was created here. So they, they have all these boysenberries that they sell. They sell jams, they sell soda, and some couple I met told me that they sell boysenberry beer. So before the day's through, I will be trying the boysenberry beer. But yeah, this soda is incredible. Don't go with Coca-Cola if you're spending the day here at Knott's Berry Farm. Get this boysenberry soda. It's so good. It's tart, but it's sweet, too, at the same time. That's incredible. So I wanted to get the barbecue tater tots, but they're already sold out. So I went with the buffalo chicken tater tots here at Knott's Berry Farm. Apparently, this is like the food stand to go to. So I'm going to give these a try. We couldn't find a table, so I'm just sitting like on a, on a bench here in the ghost town. Probably going to make a mess, but anyway. 
Let's try this. I know, it's like chunks of buffalo chicken with tater tot. This is gonna be very hard. So I've got like chunks of buffalo chicken and tater tot. Look at that. Mmm. Yeah. It's very good. Nothing spectacular. But for theme park food, this is very tasty. Again, the, it's basically chicken tenders mixed with tater tot, tater tots and spicy buffalo sauce. So it's good. I'm starving, so definitely need my energy today. We got plenty more ahead of us walking the park, riding more roller coasters and exploring this amazing ghost town. I'm gonna stop talking with food in my mouth. All right, I'm gonna eat this and we'll move on. Just got done eating my tater tots and noticed outside the old Cold Trails Hotel there's a rocking chair rocking by itself. Or is it the old ghosts haunting Calico Ghost Town here? I don't, I don't know. There's a rocking chair rocking by itself here at the old hotel above the gift shop. Nobody seems to notice, but I do. I notice this. No one else can see it. <laughs> Nobody else can see it. I got the sixth sense. Walking around the ghost town, I found the sheriff's office here. It looks like they're all playing cards. Looks like he's cheating. Is he cheating? He's got an ace in his boot. Oh yeah, he does have an ace in his boot. We got a cheater here, sheriff. We got a cheater here, sheriff. So here it says, Sad Eye Joe, horse thief, Hor horse, 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 it looks like, that looks like a Z. Horse thief, horse thief, horse thief, caught by sheriff. Now in town jail. Somebody needs to learn how to spell a little bit better here in the ghost town. And there's like a woman. She's hanging out the window here with her boot. It looks like she's trying to sneak away, maybe uh, out of the, the, the old brothel up there. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here in the old ghost town. Is Sad Eye Joe in here? Yeah. Oh, this is Sad Eye. So, this, Sad Eye Joe, this is my first time at Knott's Berry Farm. And the, the sheriff told me to come say hi to you. Well, the sheriff made the wrong choice. <laughs> well, the sheriff was playing poker with a, a couple other guys in there, I saw. So, oh. Oh. yeah. Was he, did he win? Did he I, there's somebody with a couple aces down, not up their sleeves, but in his uh, boot, I oh, saw. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's the yeah. cheater. He's the cheater? Yeah, we get, we get a lot of those around here. So how long have you been in jail then? What are you in for? Oh, see, I've been here for borrowing the sheriff's horse without permission, but he said I stole it. Oh. But I mean, it's not far. I mean, it's not stealing, right? I mean, eventually, I did give it back once it got caught. Oh, okay. Oh, once you got caught. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that that makes things a little different, I guess. I, I still gave it back, right? <laughs> that's that's what's important. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I've been here for so long already that I kind of forgot time of how long I've been here. You know? So I. Why do they call you Sad Eye Joe? I mean, my name is Joe to start off, and over time, I guess it kind of just started just. Growing old, growing tired, you know, I cry myself to sleep every night a few times. <laughs> you know, folks would hear me, you know, whoever was using the owl house would hear me, and they'd be like, eh, oh. <laughs> And over time, they're just like, oh, there goes old sad eye. And so I guess that's just kind of how I got my name. That's how you got your nickname around town. You know, I should call you Happy Eyes. Oh, hey, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> my name's Eric. Eric? Yeah. Happy Eyes Eric. Happy eyes, Eric. It, you know they're happy because I'm out here and it's it's sunny and it's nice. I want to oh, yeah. I want to help you out. Oh yeah, sure. It must be nice to be on the outside, huh? <laughs> it is. <So. laughs> All right. Well, hey Joe, I gotta run, but but I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can talk to the sheriff, maybe or or maybe find another way to get you out. You know, maybe you could, you could beat the sheriff in a game of poker. Ooh, that's yeah. a good idea. Uh, I'll I'll, I'll, treat, I'll I'll teach you a little, <laughs> a little cheat. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm all yours. Uh, I'm not saying hold everybody at gunpoint, but uh, don't do that. Okay. All right, what you got to do is get your own card. Okay. And then hide them in your boot. 
Ah. Uh, and then tell everybody to look at the ceiling, and while they're looking at the ceiling, pull out the card. I like what you're thinking there. I like what you're thinking. Yeah, just say it's like some brand new invention or something. Be like, look, a ceiling. They'll look up and I'll make my move. Yeah. And then uh, then I'll get the key and we'll come out here. We'll, we'll bust you loose. Oh, that sounds great. All right. I like that idea. Well, let me go find the sheriff. I'll see if I'll see if we can make it work. All right. Well, you enjoy the rest of your day here. I will. All right. Nice to meet you, Joe. All right. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah. Take care. Have a good one. That was great. Hello, horse. That's cool. They've got pig pens. Pig pen. And they've apparently got, there's, there's live animals in here. The horse here eating his hay. Have some piglets here taking a nap. All bunched together. Over there in the corner is Pigpen himself. You can pose and get some pictures with Pigpen from uh, the Charlie Brown comics and cartoons. He always had that dirty cloud that followed him around. He, he probably, maybe one day, Big Ben will take a bath. I don't know. There's a donkey hiding back here, too. That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. So the ghost town here is the heart and soul of Knott's Berry Farm. This was created in 1940. And it, this is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I, I, you know, I had done some research a little bit ahead of time, watched a lot of videos on Knott's Berry Farm, and I, I know a lot of people have always raved about this ghost town, but I had no idea how big this ghost town really is. It's incredible. It really does feel like you're walking in an old western town from the 1880s. But yeah, this is just amazing. I would say this is definitely the highlight of Knott's Berry Farm so far, is just this just immersive ghost town it's incredible inside the dress shop and they've got hair wreaths on display this is one of the weirdest fads I think in the 1800s maybe even earlier than that I don't know how long this was a thing but women would actually braid their hair into wreaths and keep them on display so these are this is actual hair from I think the 1800s this is 1879 it's a hair wreath that's so, I don't know, these, these kind of just gross me out, but I guess some people, this is a thing, people, some people are into this. Seems like it'd be very hard to do. It would be very hard to do. <laughs> Harry's. There's an old schoolhouse here, 1879. Oh yeah, built by a group of Iowa farmers who settled in central Kansas. I, I grew up in Iowa, that's my home state, Okaboji, Iowa. Um, the woman in the dress shop said that there is um, the, a name of one of the students who went to this school back in the 1800s that's carved in one of the desks, his name was William. So it's kind of confusing, even though this school was built by Iowans, it was in a town called Beloit, Kansas. So it was built by Iowans, but it was a school in Kansas, now it's in California. It's a lot to this puzzle. But anyway, we're, we're looking through the desks, these are original desks from the 1800s, and apparently a, a boy named William went to school here and his name is carved in one of these desks. We just don't know which desk it is. See, it's very confusing. Iowa School, number 83 of Beloit, Kansas. Iowa, but Kansas, 1879. Now it's in California. Maybe someday it'll be on Mars. I don't know. Politeness is to do and say the kindest things in the kindest way. And everything is written in cursive. I don't even know if kids these days learn how to write in cursive. I know how to write in cursive. It's, it's fun to do, but you know, with texting and technology, maybe it's not a thing anymore. Here's a picture of the teacher that taught here, Lizzie Mead. Again, <laughs> Iowa school district, but, but in, in Kansas. Lives in, lived in Kansas. Walking into the Calico Saloon, busting through the old western saloon doors. I love that. I love this. Look at this interior, it's amazing. It's literally like I'm walking back into the old west. They got the stage there where the burlesque dancers would be. I don't see any burlesque dancers in here at the moment. Maybe they save that for after the sun sets. Who knows? Trying this beer that they sell here. This is the 
famous boysenberry Hefeweizen. Cheers, guys. Prost. Prost, I guess. Salute. Salute or Prost? Either one. That is fantastic. Okay. This totally lives up to the hype. It's not a sour. It's definitely like, um, it's not overly sweet at all. I mean, you, you could taste the boysenberry, but it's not overwhelming. This is a great, I was gonna say summertime beer, but I'm in Southern California. It's warm all year round. This is an excellent beer. So if you uh, wanna step up your game from just the boysenberry soda that they sell, I highly recommend get the boysenberry Hefeweizen. This is amazing. And Theme Park Junkies, I met you guys today. Uh, check out their podcast. They're the ones that told me to try this. This is an excellent beer. Thanks for the tip. Prost. Love seeing the Camp Snoopy Canoe. I grew up in Northwest Iowa in a town called Okaboji. So I actually grew up going to Mall of America quite a lot as a kid. And uh, really miss the original Camp Snoopy that they had there. It's Nickelodeon world now, but it, growing up, Camp Snoopy was amazing at Mall of America. So I love seeing this. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Let's do this, we're doing it. 15 minute wait, it's nothing. You know, when I was a kid, I was never a fan of these tower drop rides, but they are awesome. I love these now. Now these tower rides have two different types. There's usually the version that lifts you really slowly up to the top and then stops just in time for you to pee your pants as it drops all the way down quickly towards the ground. And then the other type launches you up from below. And I don't know, I don't think there's a launching type here. I think these are both the, uh, the thrill ride that slowly raises you to the top and then plummets you down. So there's three of them. This line it looks like it's moving pretty quickly. This ride takes you 252 feet into the air before dropping you down. And there's actually three different towers, so I'm not sure which one we will get, whether it's the yellow, the blue, or the green. 252 feet into the air. So according to the ride operator, they said the green one is the fastest one, the yellow one is the smoothest one, but the blue one is the most intense. So that's the one, of course, that we're going to do. We want the most intense drop when we go on this ride. Welcome to the Supreme Screen. While riding, please remain seated, keeping your head back against the headrest at all times. Thank you, and enjoy your ride. This is the first tower ride with, I think, I've been standing in the middle. The queue line is in the middle of the tower. So we're literally in, in between all three of these drop zones. This is kind of cool. <laughs> drop all at the same time. Welcome to the Supreme Screen. While riding, please remain seated, keeping your head back against the headrest at all times. I forgot how fun these drop tower rides are. They are intense. That was a good one. It was definitely a good one. They, yeah, yeah. Free falling is, uh, it is, a, it's intense. What can I say? That train whistle is so loud. That gets me every single time. I have to say, I think this is the only theme park I've ever been to with a full-size train. A lot of the theme parks that I, I've been to 
have miniaturized trains that travel the park, you know, like Disneyland, um, Adventureland in Des Moines, Iowa. That's a random one to name to, to name a few. Um, I've never been to a theme park that have a that have that has had a full size train before until now. This is amazing. This is really cool. Knott's Berry Farm. Good job. I love it. It's happening. Ghost Rider. One of the probably the most popular roller coaster here. It's a giant wooden coaster. We're entering the mine, getting into the queue line, and I've got my boysenberry beer here to help the line go a little quicker. Standing in line for Ghost Rider. Again, this is a record-breaking roller coaster on the West Coast, United States. It goes up to speeds of 56 miles an hour, 108 foot drop, opened up in 1998. This is actually one of the most famous wooden roller coasters in the USA. So getting ready to ride this, it's a long line though. I think it's almost like a 120 minute wait to get on the Ghost Rider. Loving the logo here, like a bandit on the loose. The Ghost Rider. It'd be cool if that horse had red eyes like the Denver airport. Lucifer. Subscribe to get me out Alright, what do you guys think about Ghost Rider? It is very cool, very fun. Alright, is this your right. favorite ride in the park? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You don't have to lie to me. No, no we're being honest. Alright, so ride Ghost Rider. Ride yeah, Ghost Rider, right, yes. Ride it, ride it, ride it. Alright, sounds good. Oh yeah, that was amazing. I can barely keep my eyes open there. Wow. Ghost Rider. What are my thoughts? Easily one of the best wooden roller coasters I've ever been on. That thing was amazing. Tons of air time, high speeds up to 56 miles an hour that you, it's an out and back roller coaster. You go back under the, and, and go through the skeleton, through the supports of the coaster. And at night in the dark, because it was like a two hour wait, um, riding this at night was just insane. So I would definitely put that up there. It's tough. I've been on a lot of great wooden roller coasters over the years. This is, I want to say this is easily maybe top three, if not top five, but for sure, in my mind, just have, you know, fresh in my head right now, I would say it's up there with the voyage at Santa Claus Land in Indiana. And um, it's up there too with Hades at uh, Mount Olympus in Wisconsin Dells. This is one of the best wooden roller coasters I've ever been on here at Knott's Berry Farm. The Ghost Rider. So far, best roller coaster in the park. Hands down. completely missed this earlier, but there's a cemetery here, an Old West cemetery in the ghost town, Boot Hill Cemetery, which is kind of loosely themed, I'm guessing, after Tombstone, Arizona. This is wild, a lot of, lot, a lot of loud banjo music playing. Add some light to this. Joe McGee died April 1st, April Fool's Day, 1868. Rest in peace until I come, your widow, Anna. Killed in a quake, wasn't his fault. Now he's still, but the shaken won't halt. Ooh, San Andreas fault, I get it, I get it. I still have never been in an earthquake in my life. I, I hope to keep that record going, going forward. You got a bunch of old western tombstones here. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44. No less, no more. That's great. There's a speaker here that's extremely loud, but look at this backdrop. I have to say, it's like an Old West backdrop here too. It looks super realistic. It's pretty awesome. We're hunting for ghosts here in Knott's Berry Farm. And here's the, uh, here's a casket, Boot Hill Cemetery. Standing inside the casket here in Boot Hill Cemetery at Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, this, ooh, this is kind of creepy. Oh, wow, there's a lot of space in this casket. <laughs> there's a lot of space in that ca casket. It's roomy. It's roomy in there. This is a good one. Phineas <laughs> Wary, saloon keeper. This one is on me. 1888. The Boot Hill Undertaker. It's kind of a tombstone Arizona theme. Let's take a look inside there. Oh my gosh. There's a skeleton of a hangman. Oh, there's a, oh wow, look at that. There's a guy with a noose and then he turns into a skeleton. Oh, that's awesome. How the heck do they do that? I, I, I don't know, that's awesome. Look, we got the ladies of the night in the windows. It's kind of like a red light district almost here at Knott's Berry Farm. 
Hello. Hey, look, the boot's moving here. Oh, it stopped. She's trying to jump out the window. She heard me. Oh, there she goes again. Okay, she stopped. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> Looking into the barber shop. It's kind of dark now, the sunset, but look at this. We got a bald barber cutting this guy's hair. He looks like a caveman. This guy getting his hair cut looks like a caveman. This is truly unique. Look at this, it's a bottle house. It's a house with glass bottles embedded in either concrete or plaster. I'm not sure what what that is on the outside or what, what the how I guess the exterior of the building's made out of. But yeah, they've got glass bottles that make up the outside of this structure. Known as the bottle house. That is so cool. They've got the the necks of the bottles on the interior of the house. So instead of rebar, they just use glass bottles. I guess for reinforcement of the structure. I, again, I don't know if this is concrete or... Yeah, it must be some kind of concrete. Yeah, that's wild. You don't need rebar when you've got glass bottles to hold your structure up. To hold your gift shop up, I should say. Oh, these are cool. These like pear owl ornaments. Are they gourds or pears? Gourds. Okay. Oh yeah, they are gourds. Is that clicking sound. Good observation, Connor. <laughs> Calico River Rapids ride. Look at that. They, they've got animatronics. There's a bear. And over here is a mountain lion. I love how lit up everything is. You can actually see it in the dark. That's amazing. Oh. This looks pretty cool. This looks amazing. Even though it's dark and freezing out right now in Southern California. It's like 50, maybe 55 degrees out Fahrenheit. This looks amazing. I feel like I'm gonna make a really bad decision. Calico River Rapids. I'm making a very bad decision. We're gonna ride this now that the sun has set and it's like 55 degrees out here in the Los Angeles area. This is gonna be freezing. But look how cool this looks. We've got a log cabin. This is awesome, the theming here at Knott's Berry Farm is next level when it comes to cedar fair rides. Oh, there's a woodpecker. This queue line is so amazing. Love these old lamps. It's like an old wooden cabin that we're walking through. Look at this. Yeah, there's snowshoes, bear skins hanging. I think this used to have like a Bigfoot theme to it maybe. In the past, I, think, I don't know if it, I don't think it still does, but I, I saw some big footprints leading up to this in the queue line. Oh, this is gonna be cold. This is gonna be cold, but this looks too good to pass up right now. Oh no, here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, there's a snake! It's a rattlesnake! Oh. <laughs> I still have not seen a rattlesnake since I moved to oh, Phoenix. Man. It's crazy. One, one, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's a wolf! It's a wolf. <laughs> there's a mad hunter here shooting at us! Oh no, TNT! There's a little cuddly bear. This actually so far hasn't been too bad. We haven't gotten really wet. There's a bear there. It's not soaked at all by any means. I, I hope I'm not jinxing us. My pants are pretty wet though. This is freezing. Oh, it's amazing. Look, grizzly bear. There's a mountain lion. Well, the roller coaster track, I think that, uh, which one was that? That was Pony Express. It was by. Yeah! Oh, oh, there it is. Uh, At the end. That got me. Oh my God. So my, I'm dry up here, but I am soaking wet down here. But I have to say, as far as these river raft rides go, um, this one is amazing. This is one of the, this might be the best themed 
river raft ride I've ever been on of any theme park. But you really don't get that wet, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. They didn't have any waterfalls that you go through or, or water jets being launched. So as far as a, a, a dryness scale, this was a good one to be on and is the best one I've seen theme wise. Yeah, it's up there. Other than maybe like Disney World, Cali River Rapids, this is up here with the best theme. It had Bigfoot at the end. I mean, come on, Bigfoot was at the end of this, which is great. Yeah, two thumbs up, this is great. Inside the gift shop, look at that. There's a full size Sasquatch that you could take home for almost $3,000. He's yours, you can take Bigfoot home with you and put him in your yard or maybe even just put him in your bedroom. Why not? In line for Jaguar. I love this Aztec temple theming that they've got. It's another steel roller coaster they have here in the park. Just got off Jaguar. Not, not the best roller coaster I've been on, but it, you know, it was fun. It was fun. And what was cool is there was like a big Aztec pyramid that you go through. I didn't even realize until the ride ended that the pyramid is the actual like queue line and station. It took me a while to figure that out. But yeah, you know, it's a solid, fun, steel mini roller coaster. I think it maxes out at like 35 miles an hour, um, like a 45 foot drop. But it, it's, it's just a fun kind of fun steel mini steel roller coaster. Not the best in the park, but I'm happy it's here. It's kind of a cool, loose theme, like an Aztec theme, so it was fun. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a giant pyramid right here. I, 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 it's, it's nighttime, I didn't even see it when we walked in, and there's a lot of walls up, a lot of construction walls. There's apparently a, a, like a refurbished section of this park that's opening in the summer here, summer 2023. So I didn't even notice this giant Aztec pyramid that, that is the station of Jaguar. So yeah, but yeah, cool theme, I like it. <laughs> Grabbing dinner at Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant, and this is the restaurant that made the park in some sense. Cordelia Knott, that's a picture of her in the 1940s, started this chicken restaurant. It became so popular with the local residents that her husband Walter Knotts actually started creating more attractions here which which over time became the theme park we know today to keep visitors here after they ate her famous chicken. And there's them making boysenberry pies in the 1940s too so there's a lot of history here that's, that's really what makes Knotts Berry Farm so unique compared to any other theme park in the world today. There's all the family history here in Anaheim. It's really cool and really special. A picture of the Knott family during the 1940s. There's Walter Knott right there and his wife Cordelia. And yes, you can get their famous boysenberry wheat ale at the restaurant. It's here on tap. So if you're waiting for some of that famous chicken and you want to have a drink while you're waiting, they got the famous boysenberry wheat. <laughs> so we tried to book reservations at Mrs. Knott's famous chicken restaurant here, but it was a 30 minute wait. So we actually went next door to the chicken to go. It's still the same famous chicken, but you can get it a lot faster without dining in. So take a look at this. This is Knott's Berry Farm's famous fried chicken. Mrs. Knott's used to make this and it's really what started the theme park. It's what drew the residents to the Knott's Berry Farm in the first place. This looks amazing, look at this. Got mashed potatoes in here. Also wanted to show you that I got some boysenberries as well. I think it's like a, some kind of dipping sauce maybe. But well, here we go, this is Mrs. Knott's famous chicken. I'm gonna start with a drumstick. Let's try this out. Mm. Wow. This is phenomenal, what can I say? I can see why it drew the crowds. 
This is some of the best fried chicken I've ever, I feel like I've been saying this a lot today. The best ever. This is some of the best fried chicken I've ever eaten. It's definitely up there with Del Rea's chicken in Chicago off Route 66. That's the other excellent chicken spot that survived the test of time that I've been at. This is phenomenal. I don't know what the secret is, but this is the real deal. Look at this. Mrs. Knott's famous fried chicken. This is the chicken that started it all. This is the chicken that drew the crowd that inspired Walter Knott to create a theme park. Now there was boysenberry farms in the mix of that too, but the chicken is really what drew the people to Knott's Berry Farm. So it's the chicken that started it all. Wanted to add to, had to wash that chicken down with the famous boysenberry punch that they serve here at the park. It's like a soda. It's fantastic. It's so good. Truly unique to Knott's Berry Farm. I know it looks like a coffee. These are the only lids they had. And for dessert, boysenberry pie. Fresh here at Knott's Berry Farm where the boysenberry originated. This looks delicious. All right, we got the famous boysenberry pie here at Knott's Berry Farm. I'm gonna dig in. I don't know if it's warm or cold. It's probably, I think it's like room temperature. But anyway, here we go, boysenberry, which I've never had. I've never had boysenberry until today. I'm, Totally new to boysenberry. Mmm. That is excellent. Again, it's, it's room temperature, it's not warm. I think warm pie is the greatest kind of pie. But yeah, boysenberry is very interesting. It's kind of like a, a blackberry. Combined with like a cranberry, maybe even like a like a strawberry. I don't know what berries were mixed to make a boysenberry, but it's truly unique. It's kind of like a, a blackberry mixed with a strawberry or a cranberry flavor. At least that, I'm just talking flavors here. But anyway, very good pie. Highly recommend the boysenberry pie if you're at Knott's Berry Farm. Okay, so with a little internet research known as Wikipedia, I uh, came to the conclusion that a boysenberry is mixed mainly with a blackberry and a raspberry. And that makes sense, because that's what it tastes like. I think there's like a dewberry and a loganberry also mixed with that too, but I, I've never even heard of a loganberry or a dewberry, so I'm just gonna go with raspberry and blackberry. Here in the general store in the Calico Ghost Town, look at all of the berry jams that they have. This is where you can get a lot of the, the foods, the boysenberry jams, the boysenberry pies. But they got all kinds of berries. Blueberry, amaretto peach, cranberry, and bourbon jalapeno jam. That sounds really good. Blood orange. It's Knott's Berry Farm after all. You gotta get your berry on. Oh my gosh, they even sell their boysenberry punch. You can take it home and enjoy. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna take some home, I think. This was so good. They also have boysenberry sarsaparilla. They even have boysenberry popcorn. That actually sounds really good. I've never had a boysenberry before I came here today, but I'm in, I like it. This is probably the biggest gift shop I've seen so far in the park, the general store in the Calico Ghost Town section. They've got all kinds of taffy and food. And look at this, this magnet's pretty cool. This is Walter Knott with his wife, Cordelia. That's their wedding photo, 1911. Looking at some more magnets here. I know they're known for boysenberries, strawberries, but asparagus? You can get asparagus. Magnets. It's the first first time I've seen that today in Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, and rhubarb.
Well, what an amazing day at Knott's Berry Farm. This was my first experience here at this amazing Cedar Fair theme park. What I do want to say is this is the best themed park that Cedar Point owns. I would say as far as thrill rides are concerned, there are some great thrill rides here at this park, but it's really the theming that wins, at least wins my heart over with this theme park. But I would say Cedar Point, Ohio is still the best Cedar Fair uh, park when it comes to thrill rides and extreme roller coasters. But Knott's Berry Farm with the history and the unique attractions and of course the Calico Ghost Town behind me is truly one of my favorite amusement parks in the United States. It really won me over today. Absolutely love this place. And uh, yeah, I will be back. I got a season pass. I'm excited to be coming back here, especially in October for Knott's Scary Farm. But until then, I will be doing a couple more trips out here and really want to focus more on the ghost town itself. But anyway, thanks for joining me today. This has been an amazing time at Knott's Berry Farm. My name is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog, and it's time for me to get out of here. Thanks for watching.